I've come up with a plan. Shit, shit. Oh, shit, you bully. Fucking bees. That's just breathtaking. The problem is that as farm equipment has got bigger and more efficient, fields have had to get bigger and more efficient. Which means that since the war, everywhere where insects like to live is disappearing. And I've decided to do something about that. Look at the ecological work I'm doing here on my way to create what I'd like to describe as a biological supermarket full of many different species. In just one day, the pond was full. Oh, look at him. That's a baby. He's just losing his down. He can't fly. To attract more owls, I decided that I should carpet bomb the whole farm with owl boxes where they could live. Right, now we're cooking. And once the concrete base had set, we stood back to survey our handiwork. Oh, no, wait a minute. We did forget to put the owl box on the top of it. Shit. By removing trees from here and here and here, for example, it means more sunlight can reach the forest floor. You can see puddles of it everywhere. And that's good for beetles and birds, bees. It's good for everything. Hi, I'm Jeremy Clarkson. And as I've always said, you can't beat a caravan holiday. A site like this offers camping and caravan club members access to the great outdoors for as little as £41 a year. So come on, beat those Brexit blues and take your holiday this year in a good old British field. You won't regret it. Cheers. So rather than let the field sit there doing nothing, I'd come up with one of my brilliant lockdown brainwaves. I've planted it with pumpkins for Halloween. Yeah. Sweet corn, because I like it. Yeah. And sunflowers, because socialists like to eat their seeds, apparently. Brilliant. Now, what they want me to do is walk around the field with this three times. Well, I'm not going to. God, I'm clever. Right, see how it's just worked this way. Green, that's the earth. Good. Ah, uh, could be. Oh, good, good. Oh, oh, you bastard. What have you been doing? What? What do you mean? What, what have you been doing? Going up and down. Going up and down like this? No. I went up and then went across like that. What did I say at the start? You said don't do that, but I couldn't see why. I said every eighth time you're putting a tram line in. Your tram line's going to be everywhere. Down here, you're going to have tram line, tram line, tram line, tram line, tram line, every three metres. On this bit here, you're going to have no tram lines. When I come to spray it and fertilise it, how do I know where to drive? However, as the loading began, I got a terrible hot neck feeling as I realised that the grain from the ten acres we'd harvested would completely fill the lorry. 20 lorries you should have organised. 20 lorries? 20 lorries. They should have been coming back and what, forth. Back 29 and forth. tons in each one? Yes. But it's Taking 6 it. o'clock on a Saturday night. We're not going to get any more now, and it's Sunday tomorrow. And it's going to rain tonight. You fucked up. First up with an opinion was my girlfriend, Lisa. What the fuck are you doing up here? What are you going to do with all this soil? Nothing's going to come and live here. It's Charlie Ireland now. He's my sort of land agent. Charlie then sat me down to explain just how expensive it would be to get my crops in the ground. So you've got a tractor, a cultivator, and you haven't got a trailer. So I called Caleb Cooper, the tractor driver who'd worked for the previous farmer. When I'm coming down the tram, I'm doing 12 metres that side, 12 metres that side. However, because you're an idiot and you didn't listen to me, I've now got 18 metres that way, so I'm going to have to turn one section of the boom off so I don't scar the crop. A wonderful local chap called Gerald, the drystone waller. I told you I could carry it. <laughs> you, wait, you ain't got a lot of land yet. You can lose ten ton to come back it. Having finished my test drive, I made a decision and bought this. This is 
a Lamborghini R8. Oh, my God, this thing is enormous! Everything about it is just vast. It weighs 10 tonnes. I have 40 forwards gears and 40 reverse gears. Well, I know that little Massey Ferguson was very sweet, but come on! No, don't do that! Oh, shit, and Bobby! Doi! The honeymoon was clearly over. No, this way. Come on. Oi, I'm going the wrong way again now. It's like they could sense I was a new boy. Oh, no! No, they're going back. They're just... Oh, for fucking hell. And they were going to make the most of it. Oh, shit. Travis, please stop. Right. Good. Here we are, middle of the night. Um, sorting the sheep out. Again. Sheep! Sheep! For fuck's sake! No, 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 no! Fucking hell! No, 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 no. Fuck it, go live in that field. Get run over. See if I care. Oh, I fucking hate sheep. I fucking hate them. I cannot wait to eat them. I cannot wait. Back in the non-sheep world, I was trying to do my bit for the elderly locals by donating some of my seemingly unsaleable potatoes. Hi there. That's close enough. <laughs> Very well. Brought you some potatoes. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Hello? Is Gerald all right? Yes. Yeah. I think he's gone off. Yeah, I just haven't seen him for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I thought no pubs and no Manchester United. He might be having withdrawal symptoms. Well, he is going a bit mad, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, he can cook him... Well, he can cook himself some potatoes, yeah. but okay. as long as he's all right. Wonderful. Yes, thank you very Good. Much. Okay. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. I think you're ready to go on your own, cultivating. Really? Yeah, because you'll get your own feel for it. Flying solo on day one. Hmm. I'm actually doing farming. Which is what I've... That's what you wanted to do. I've never... I know. And Howard, the previous farmer, said, well, I'm jacking it in. And I just thought, I'll do it. And everybody said, you're stupid. You're literally... That's the stupidest thing ever. You'll never be able to do it. And now you are. I'm actually doing farming. Look at that now. That's beautiful, isn't it? Here you go. Thank you very much. You did much. really well, Kieran, as well. Cheers. 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 Well done, thanks for that. It was very impressive watching the three of you come up. I did actually say, coming up the hill, I went... I'm telling you now, Caleb's nursing a semi in his class. <laughs> <laughs> we hadn't been allowed to leave this place for six weeks. Stay in your vehicle, please. Stay in your vehicle. And you know what? I didn't want to. <laughs> it is genuinely just about the happiest I've ever been.